Hey, we back. I'm here on the day today where we're talking about Easter eggs. Most of these were much easier to find in the past. Uh, there's a lot of images that we're going to be talking about today, uh, which used to be default images and aren't anymore. There's a couple even that have been removed. I expect most people probably know about at least a few of these, but I've tried to compile a full list and we're going to go through them today and see all of the funny, wacky stuff that has been put in Madei over the years. Most characters will have some aliases. If you don't know about them, you can have a look with the alias command. Zero Two here, very popular character, ranked first, has a whole, what's that, eight aliases. Wow, amazing. Now what about this random goat? This random goat has 726 aliases. Well, that's not including this one, I suppose, and potentially not including this one either. It's a lot of aliases. Why is this random goat got the most aliases in the bot, I might add, at 726? It seems so arbitrary. Uh, and this has actually caused this goat to get a, a lot of values, a lot of uh, claim rank and light rank. Uh, because, I mean, sure, maybe, you know, Kingdom of Deception Goat, maybe it's popular. But also, maybe it's because it's got 726 aliases, which is quite funny. Apparently, this is because originally there was a war between the goat and Roger, who also has a lot of aliases, uh, where the two users that like these two characters kept suggesting aliases to try and have the most aliases on the character, and apparently the goat won. So the goat has the most aliases, Roger, I believe, has the second most, certainly used to, because it turns out, especially back then, you could suggest pretty much whatever you wanted as an alias and get it added to the bot. Notably, there is also uh, just goat, which has 135. I think originally the Kingdom of Deception goat was just called goat, whereas then it was added to be uh, KOD, and we have the goat from Goat Simulator, who is now just called goat. Uh, but he's got a fair few aliases himself as well. So there you go. A lot of aliases on those few characters. There are a couple of other characters that have hundreds of aliases for no reason. Uh, but certainly, Goat is... Goat has the most aliases on the bot, and it's probably going to stay like that forever. Next, we've got all these images. Like I said at the start, you've probably seen a couple of these going around. The blind girl from Black Bullet having a, a spare rolls please sign. This is now the second picture of two, where the first picture is just the actual anime picture with some, some Japanese scrawled on it. Um, but originally, this picture was the default, so you would see her go past with this. People would claim her because of it, and it was quite funny. Whereas that doesn't happen so much anymore, because, of course... People that are just rolling her and don't realize that she's holding a sign uh, don't think to claim her and set it as the image, which is kind of sad. Uh, but yes, there you go. There's a lot of characters that have images like this with Madei references on them. And as I said at the start, I've tried to compile a list of all of them. So we're going to go through these now. Zero Two is trash. This is the last image on her now. We have What Did I Do Before Madei? Similar one here. Nice little pie chart, emphasize the point, did Madei ruin your life? Not necessarily, look, 10% of people say no. Astounding, good job 10% of people. This one sure is a sign, not really Madei re related. I shan't comment further, else be demonetized on YouTube, but yep, that one exists. Very much like the blind girl one, back at the start, spare rolls please on Garfield. Garfield also used to have a bunch of cursed pictures on him, but most of them have been removed now. We'll talk more about that later, but I suppose if you really want um, cursed Garfield pictures, there's always Garfield. Uh, this is less of uh, an easter egg, and more just of a why does this character exist. Garfield is here and has some wonderful pictures on it. That's not much of an easter egg, but but it does exist. There you go. We have Risei Matsumoto image 3, which hasn't been loading for me the past couple of days. It's just consistent problem with Madei. It's actually a Discord problem. Image is not loading, but not to fear. I have it here in this server. I found it here, so it's all good. It's a GIF, and it says your wife is a shit, which, like, What's the Earth there for? 
What's the other for? We don't need that. But anyway, yeah, there you go. This one exists. The image is still there. As you can see, it's image three on the character. It hasn't been deleted. There are a few that have been deleted. This isn't one of them. It's still there. It's just not loading. Um, I don't know if it'll load for you. Probably not. But hopefully it'll fix itself eventually. We have the billboard who has quite a few images on them. I won't spoil what's on that QR code. You can scan it for yourself and find out. Um, and then everything from two up to five is uh, sure something. All images on the day have their nice little white border around them. There you go, nice little white border, except for this one, which has a yellow border, cause, cause sure. Uh, zero two is trash, naturally, naturally. Um, and you are Mr. Gay, there you go. The original picture mind is, you know, what, what it looks like in the game, but um, the other ones, not so much. More waifu hate there. These characters all have reasonable Kakara value, and some of them it's not just because of the sign. Admittedly, a lot of them it's because of the sign, but like, Idolmaster is reasonably well known. It's not unreasonable for them to have 100 Kakara. There's a few pushing pictures with text on them. This one isn't particularly slanderous, but I just thought I'd throw it in here because why not? Uh, but 8 and 9 are the fun ones, so if we just flip to 8 and 9, we go Roy Gay, wonderful. Good, good, good meme there, Roy Gay. Uh, and then we also have this absolutely cursed image, which is probably still on a moat on the official Midday server. Oh, there it is. We found it. Nice Midday. Wonderful. So that that's there on Pusheen, just because just because why not? Uh, speaking of which, by the way, the original Midday character. This isn't really an Easter egg either, but you know why not? Yuki Nagato is the original Madei picture, and picture number two is the one that they use, in case you were curious. Not so much of an easter egg, it's just uh, what they decided to put on the profile picture. Apparently it was decided uh, by a vote on the official server back when the bot first started. So there you go. Another spare rolls please on Q-chan, this is image eight. Two out of three of this guy's images are memes. We have stop sniping my rolls, and once again, Roy Gay. The seventh picture on Bart Simpson from the Simpsons intro here is set. I will not snipe rolls. Entirely server dependent, plenty of servers allow you to snipe rolls. And if. <laughs> big mistake that servers make. If you want someone to not snipe rolls, just disable it. Toggle snipe is a setting that you can set, make it impossible to snipe rolls. Just. Just stop complaining about it if it's allowed on the server. Imagine. People don't know how to use midday settings. Miss Sign. This one's less of a meme because that's just what they look like in the game, in the Battle Cats. But it's kind of appropriate for midday as well for uh, when you manage to get a roll off someone. Try harder next time. Too slow. So I have seen it posted the same way as the others regardless. We've got a couple here that were removed. Rocket Raccoon, it would be a good idea if you stopped sniping my rolls, you know? And this one was replaced back two years ago now. The same goes for this Santa Claus one. He's got himself a little uh, naughty list here. He's got zero two at the bottom. Roy Gay once again. This one has also been removed since. And this Squidward one was also removed, which I'm very surprised at because uh, this one was actually very well known. Uh, but it seems to not be there anymore. Maybe I'm just an idiot and it is still there, but I couldn't find it. Oh, there we go. Squid Warren. Found it in uh, Cyrexa uh, three years ago. Spare rolls, please. Moving on from the custom text, we have the Harold images, which are just the best images. Harold is all of the waifus. So we have Harold Hatsune Miku. Uh, Harold, I've forgotten her name, but Mega Milkies. I, I, I can't remember what, what her name is. You know, she's worth like 300 kakura though. Another Harold Hatsune Miku. Ha uh, Harold Toga, Himiko Toga. Harold Zero Two, obviously the best one. D this is this is real Zero Two. This is ranked number one. I don't I don't know why it says this over here. One and a half thousand. Got. I don't know. I don't know what this character is, but there you go. <laughs> He's also there. Jojo's Deal Harold, and then Guru Harold at the end. There we go. So Harold Harold is all of the waifus. They need a Rem Harold, really. Someone make Rem Harold and suggest it to the bot. Hopefully they still add pictures like that. We also have Rick Astley, who is, is also naturally real Zero Two. Same vein as Harold. He's just, he is all the waifus. 
It's real zero two. We also have real rem. Although this this isn't her default picture anymore, is it? Oh, there's a lot of pictures on rem. <laughs> oh no, it is. There we go. Yeah, real rem. Real megumin. Uh, real my Sakurajima. Ignore the, the the definitely not a gift. We got real Nezuko. Ah, this one's not a me. There you go. See, look. Wow, you you got Nezuko. Good job. Very funny. A lot of the Harry Potter pictures are very cursed. Draco Malfoy especially. There's quite a few on Hagrid too. Um, there's actually a few reasonable ones now. It used to be like seven pictures and all of them were cursed. But there's a few reasonable ones now. But in general, yeah, the, the Harry Potter pictures are just... They're just not great. Uh, this is what happens when uh, <laughs> you're, you're not allowed pictures of real people in the bot. So they do this instead. And it looks simply fantastic. See that? Just... Yeah, it's that sure is Draco Malfoy, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go all the way to the end, shall we? Well, these last few aren't bad. We have Bongo Cat, who doesn't break the rules anymore. You notice this first picture is an image, and then the second picture goes on to be a GIF. But if we go back a few years, you can see that the first picture here used to be a GIF, which is not how it works. This was never a thing that was allowed in the day. Every character's first image had to be an image. And then you could have GIFs later on. Uh, but Bongo Cat thoroughly broke the rules by having all 23 of his images at this point were GIFs, which I believe is also over the GIF limit because you were only allowed five GIFs on a character back then. And Bongo Cat had 23 GIFs. So he, he just thoroughly broke all of the Madei image rules and uh, had exclusively gifts, which was quite funny. Unfortunately, he doesn't anymore because uh, you're allowed a lot more than five gifts and the first one's an image for some reason. It's unbelievable. But he used to break the rules. We have giving cards to Madei. This is something that I never see people do anymore, but uh, it is quite funny. Uh, we have Mudamade here, which is Madei. We'll actually talk about that in a little bit. It's basically an Easter egg at this point. Um, but yeah, look at that. Rem, owned by Mudamade, which is which is Madei. Um, you can still give Madei characters. I tested it last night, just to double check. So if we check Madei's harem here, we, we, we find out what they've got, same as anyone else. And it tells you how to do it as well, which I don't think it used to do. Uh, just to demonstrate, you know, find an example. Oh, look at all those Azur Lane characters. Beautiful. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's grab a random character at the back of my harem. And we are going to give this to Madei, just so you know how we can do it. In fact, let's give it... Do we do we have any other Madei bots? No, because there's, there's no more... Um, there's no Muda made on this server. That's a shame. Oh, well. We're going to give to Madei... Francois. Now, of course, when you try and do this, the other character has to confirm by typing yes. But there is the say command on Madei, which we can just make Madei say yes and accept the trade, which is wonderful. Uh, speaking of trade, you can also then trade Madei. Let's suppose I actually want my Francois back. Who even is this? Latina. Let's say I want my Francois back. We trade Madei, the ME command. I type the name of the character that I want to trade. And then we get Madei to say what character they want to trade. And we get it back. Wonderful. Let's next talk about the Muda Maids. They really aren't a uh, an Easter egg. This is just how Madei used to work because their, each bot has a certain rate limit, and now they do wacky things with shards and Discord perms and stuff to to sort out that, uh, because Discord got a little better at actually organizing bots. Um, but what Madei did in the past to get around the fact that it was super spammy and going way over uh, Discord rate limits is just to have more bots. Uh, like I said, we don't actually have an example here, but if I flip down to one of my key servers, we can see Mudamade 22. There was something like 60 or 70 of these. Each had their own picture as a as a profile picture. And all of these were the default pictures on Madei. So if I have a look at Amelia, I don't know if this is still her default picture. There we go, it is. Wonderful. So this is the default Amelia picture. 
and there was a Moodermaid for it. And most of the popular characters had a Moodermaid. A couple of Sayers' favourites also had a Moodermaid. We saw Moodermaid 1 earlier in this video on Silex, who is not a popular character, but I assume it's someone that Sayer likes, I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, there was a bunch of these. When you added Midday to your server, you could optionally, in fact, you were encouraged to, also add a Moodermaid. In theory, you were meant to add a random Moodermaid, and um, you would type the command and it would give you a random invite, and this was to spread the load. So when you invited it to your server, you would get an arbitrary Moodermaid, and that was just have what you have to use. But if you had the invite links for them, you could actually add any Moodermaid to your server and use that. So we have uh, Moodermaid 22, here's Amelia, uh, Moodermaid 39 was um, uh, Uno Gassi, and that's what we had here. So let's quickly search this up, because the other thing we had was aliases for them. <laughs> there we go. I said it was possible to give them Kaku. Well, look at that. Moodamade39 has one Kaku on this server. Isn't that wonderful? But here we go. If we look at the aliases, these are all gone now, since the Moodamades are defunct, no longer used. Um... But we would have you know yes i aliases muda made 39 and all of the characters that had a um muda made would uh, have an aliases for them so we actually have here askalangi soru has muda test and muda 2 because that's what they were it doesn't look like i see any others here uh, but yeah there was a whole bunch of aliases for them as well which is pretty cool all of the aliases are gone now. We can check uh, aliases on Unogasai. Oh, well, apparently that wasn't the alias that was set for it. It is now. There's uh, there's no Moodermaid 39 alias anymore because uh, the Moodermaids are, are all defunct. If I check my DMs with the original Moodermaid 1, I actually find a bunch of invite links for these bots. I don't know if any of these still worked. And I can't remember why I collected them. This certainly isn't all of them. Like I said, there's about 70 of them. Uh, but I I had loads of these invite links. And this would mean that when I wanted to start up a new Midday server, I could pick which Muda made I wanted, within reason anyway. Uh, feel free to try any of these links, if you can be bothered to type them all out. I doubt they work anymore, but the bots clearly still exist, so maybe they do. And as you can see, we've got the ones that we've talked about and uh, a few others. Next, we've got these couple of Pokemon Easter eggs. These are definitely, definitively Easter eggs, which is cool. You might have seen this one before. Giovanni steals your Pokemon. This doesn't do anything, it doesn't mean anything. It's the, the epitome of an Easter egg. Uh, but basically, it's about as rare as getting a legendary. Well, it's, it's rarer than getting a legendary. It's as rare as getting a specific legendary. Uh, but he just steals it. You don't get a legendary, you are sad. He just, he just appears here and you get a bunch of X's and that's all it does. I believe he can also steal four stars. Uh, he can't steal one to three stars. But he periodically just shows up and steals your Pokemon. Haha, <laughs> trolled. Uh, we also have this, which is a new Easter egg with the uh, Paradox Pokemon, which uh, looks like that. I've not seen this myself. I found this on the official Midday server as a print screen. I've not got this... Um, this easter egg yet, but Paradox Pokemon are reasonably new, so it makes sense. Finally, we have the pins and the secret pins. Pin Zero, which is here and, and looks like missing now. And then we also have pins, like here, the Reggie pins. Do I have the Sonic pins as well? Like, like those right there? Yeah, look at that. Super Sonic pin and stuff like that. There's a couple of secret pins around that you can fetch. I don't have that many of them, all things considered. Um, and if you want to know more about them, I've actually made a separate video on them, because there's a lot of them, and they're actually methods of obtaining them, because <laughs> they're actually important for the bot. Yeah, reasonably. Uh, missing No, specifically, gives you one extra value every time you take DK. Yo, huge. One Kakura per day, guys. It's, it's, better make sure you get that. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, there's also the secret pins, which I'm not going to talk about much here, uh, because like I say, I've already made a video on them in the past, but they are Easter eggs and I thought I would mention them. Uh, that being said, 
that's all the stuff I wanted to talk about today. Mostly going through all of those cool images, since uh, I know people have been asking about them on the official server, if there was a list of them all somewhere, and there isn't. Uh, especially since images change, they can be added, they can be removed. Uh, it's very difficult to come up with an official list for that kind of stuff, but hopefully this will do a reasonable job of documenting them. And of course I've added in all the removed ones anyway and a bunch of other easter eggs, so hopefully it was fun. I'm sure there was something in this video that you didn't know about before, so now you do! Good job! Anyway, have fun setting all of those images to be your default images on your server, because naturally they should be, even if Sayers rules are a bit more strict now. And I will be leaving this video here. Bye.